gentlemen. We appreciate you taking the time to learn and educate yourself on this specific topic of how to put physical precious metals in your IRA. And also wanted to let you know that we did bring in a special guest from Entrust New Direction, which is an IRA custodian. We have Bill Humphrey from the Entrust Colorado office. They're called New Direction. And they're going to help provide further insight into their role as uh, an IRA custodian. We also wanted to provide you with a specific agenda. First, we're going to introduce you to some specifics. We're going to provide you four separate entities with a common goal to serve you. And we're going to provide you with three basic steps to follow. In addition, and trust New Direction, again, we'll talk about their role as an IRA custodian. And we'll further provide you with goldsilver.com distinctions and how we separate ourselves from any other dealer out there. You do have many options to choose from. In general, there are three. Plan A is the traditional way. Most investors in this category take a cursory view of their portfolio and verify if they're either going up or down. And their allocations that they selected were originally determined usually by taking talking to a financial advisor or in the case of a 401k, the investor talks to a person who's closest to them who they deem to be the smartest as to where to invest. The only problem with that is that in this day and age, based on the global economics and the systemic issues with our monetary policy today, you leave yourself vulnerable to a possible market crash. On the other extreme, there is plan B. Plan B is to cash out your retirement account and buy precious metals outright. The con of that is that there are possible tax implications and early withdrawal penalty. But the good thing about that is that you can own precious metals outright and have them privately held. The third plan is Plan C and why we're here today. And we're going to talk about how to transfer an existing retirement funds and move them into a physical metals IRA. And the biggest benefit of that is that there's no tax or penalty when you're submitting for a direct transfer of those funds from one IRA to the next. And I think that this page is very important to consider because most of us might be in plan A and toggling between plan B or plan C. But at the end of the day, from experience, most of our client base end up wanting to do plan B, but rationalized to end up going with plan C. One of the considerations about plan A, just as a recap, is that our last market crash back in October 2008 impacted those in the market with an average loss of 29% to their individual portfolios. And most of us cannot afford another crash. And again, we're going to focus on the purpose of this webinar, which is to help explain the conceptual process of how to transfer your retirement funds into a physical metals IRA. But first, you need to consider that there are four separate entities. First, there's you. We'll also have the IRA custodian who will help you with your administration of your IRA. And we also have the precious metals dealer who will help you to buy your metals. And then lastly, there's a place called the depository where your metals will end up being held. So overall, what I want to provide with you is a visual picture of understanding these four significant pieces of the puzzle. You will want to practically begin to liquidate your existing retirement account if you decide to move forward with this. And you can take the following steps. Step one is that you're going to contact the IRA custodian. In this example, we are going to be highlighting interest new direction as the IRA custodian. But please know that goldsilver.com offers four physical metal IRA custodians you can choose from. The IRA custodian is the organization who will help you with any of your IRA-related questions. 
and based on the type of retirement plan you have, they can provide you with the proper forms you will need to resubmit to get the ball moving forward so you can obtain a new IRA account number and fund that account. Once you have an account and the funds in this account are ready to go, then we can go ahead and have you proceed to step two. Step two is to contact the precious metals dealer. And in this instance, we hope that you'll be contacting goldsilver.com. Now simply put, the precious metals dealer is going to help work with you to order your precious metals and ship it to the proper destination for you. In addition, later down the line, if you ever need to sell back, we'll also be here for you as well. The benefit of this is that once you call in to us and you provide us with your IRA account number and we get verification that you have funds in this account, then we at goldsilver.com will enter the order for you on your behalf and lock in the price at that moment. This literally takes minutes to do and goldsilver.com will also seek payment for the invoice from the IRA custodian so you don't have to. Next, step three really is the dealer who will ship your physical precious metals to the proper depository. Basically, it's a vault storage location to secure and hold those metals. And again, we'll retrace back to the big picture and the sequence of events. Again, you will contact the IRA custodian and get all the proper forms, submit those forms to them, and then contact the precious metals dealers once you have an account number and once you've funded that account. Based on that, we can proceed to enter the order for you, and then goldsilver.com will ship the metals directly to the depository on your behalf. And so next, I want to introduce to you our IRA custodian guest speaker from Entrust New Direction, Bill Humphrey. Well, thanks, Lori. Again, my name is Bill Humphrey. I'm from Entrust New Direction IRA. We are the IRA provider, and one of the most popular topics that we're hearing from our customers today is that they want to have metals, actual physical metals, inside their IRA. First, before we get started, a quick disclaimer that the Entrust Group, of which we are a part, and Entrust New Direction, both acting as the agent for the custodian, we're not here to provide any investment advice or particularly to endorse any product. So that part is up to you. We're also not the agent for any investment provider nor any specific investment. So our goal today is to present all this educational material so that you actually know how and, and what you can do. We're not trying to tell you what to do. And then just a little background on us, because for most of our clients, they've never heard of us before. So who exactly are we? We are a company that provides record keeping and administration for self-directed IRAs. And because most of our clients don't understand what that is, our main focus is education. So we want to make sure that you understand what your IRA can do We'll help you do it. The other thing that sets us apart from folks like Schwab and, and TD Ameritrade and other IRA holders and providers is that they all sell investments to the IRA. Well, with New Direction, you're not talking to somebody that's trying to sell you anything. We don't sell or recommend any investments. Our goal is only to help you make take the best advantage of the money that you have in your own retirement plan and get you to the future that you want. So that money is yours, you want to make it grow, and call us, talk to us. We can help you through the process. We can also give you a lot of details about how a self-directed IRA is different. We've been doing this for more than 30 years, providing exactly these kind of IRAs. And for a lot of people right now, what they want to do is buy metals. So how does that process work? Well, in general, there are two types of plans that we are seeing buying metals. That is the traditional IRA, which includes, in many cases, 401k funds that have been rolled over into that IRA from a company plan, say a previous employer or an employer that's um, in your past at some point that's let you go, but they still have the 401k funds. Those can be rolled over into a traditional IRA. 
they can also be converted into a Roth IRA. We're hearing a lot more people interested in in uh, having a Roth IRA because of the specific tax advantages of that plan. Traditional IRA, Roth IRA is probably about 95% of what our clients are using. And what they're doing is they're thinking about metals in the IRA. So one of the first things that you have to know about an IRA is that the IRS requires a custodian or trustee for any asset that the IRA owns. And most of the IRA providers out there do not allow those assets to be gold. So the main difference between the provider that you have now and Entrust New Direction is that we actually do allow whatever you've decided as the investment of your choice. So for metals, your New Direction IRA can hold those metals. And it's a pretty simple process, although there are some details, we're happy to help you through those details. So this is sort of the big picture of how it works. Well, the first step is that you need to open your self-directed IRA. So call us, email us, or get in contact with us in some way to get that account open because you need to have a self-directed IRA in order to make the metals purchase. So call our office. We will help you through that process. As part of that process, we'll also work on getting money from your old plan into the new plan. And that involves a variety of paperwork. Again, ask us what paperwork that is, and we'll help you get the, the details and the money in the account. We'll also issue that new account number, which, as Lori mentioned, is important for them to make sure that you have an IRA and it has money in it. So it, in the meantime, you can contact Gold Silver or the dealer of your choice and work out the details of exactly what that process and what your IRA is going to buy. Once that's all worked out, then the investment is purchased, typically within 48 hours of us getting all the paperwork. So let me run through those details again. The first step, contact us here at New Direction IRA. You can contact us via our website, which is newdirectionira.com. Send us an email or give us a call. And what you're looking for is an application to actually get that new IRA opened. To complete that, the form itself, much like any other IRA form you've ever opened or any, any uh, securities or investment account as well. So what we need is your name and address and social security number, all that sort of stuff. Send that over to us and we'll start processing it because we are a financial company. What we need to do is be able to make sure you're um, valid IRA holder and not a terrorist and subject to the Patriot Act and all that stuff that you do at a bank. So you're going to open that account with us. The cost for that, and please include it with the application, is $50. With that, we open the account. Once everything's approved, we issue your new IRA account number. In the same time, what we're going to do is get money into that account, following again your direction typically moving money from the old retirement account somewhere else to your new direction account. Once that account number is issued and the account is formally opened, then we process the paperwork to move the funds. And again, that paperwork can vary based on what kind of plan you currently have and what kind of plan you want to have at the end. So we're happy to walk through the details of, of your specific situation. So be sure to call us if you have any questions. And as this is going on, you're going to be working on what exactly your IRA is going to buy. Since we're not selling anything, we're just following your instructions. It's entirely up to you to figure out, one, how much your IRA can afford and what types of metals you want in there. And goldsilver.com or your own dealer of your choice can help you through that process. With goldsilver.com, they've been doing this a long time. so. They know most of those questions that you're going to ask, except for the ones specifically about the IRA. So for those, send them to us, and we can help you through that detail. Once everything's done and paperwork is in order, we will send the wire to the dealer to purchase those metals. And what we have to have is all the, the approved invoice and the dot depository agreement, as Lori was talking about. Then. The metals are actually stored in the depository. Goldsilver.com works with First State Depository for that storage. And that's it. You know, it's a pretty easy process. And although it is 
likely a new process for most people. It's not as scary as it might seem. We're happy to help you through the process from beginning to end. You decide what you want to do. You communicate that to us and to goldsilver.com, and we'll help you through the process. Get money in your IRA. If you do have questions, call us, email us, go to our website at newdirectionira.com, and we can help you through any details that we didn't have time to cover today. So at this point, I'll shift it back to Lori for her to finish up. And um, any questions, I'll be here at the end so that you can go ahead and, and uh, save those up, ask them at the end, and we'll get you some answers. We're going to offer you a referral code. And if you mention this code and or use it at time of order entry, then this is valid for a special discount. It's N-D-I-R-A. That's the code you'll want to write down. And it will be valid until the end of this year. OK, so as a bonus to you, we thank you for participating. And at this time, we do want to open it up for question and answers. Now, we already have some questions that have already begun to come in. The first one is from Robert. And his question is, how can I be sure that I can trust the storage people when it gets down to the crunch time. Well, one of the things about First State Depository, which is the depository that we work with, is that our management physically went out there ourselves and qualified it and approved it as a depository for us. They're very proficient. We, in fact, them use our, them ourselves. They automate everything. They're very good at reporting and documentation. And if you go to your IRA custodian, you can request them to also provide you with further information and or email alert when your medals arrive. Certainly, you can go to their website and also take a look at what they have to offer if that makes you feel more comfortable. The next question is from Ron. The question is, what are new directions, distinctives, or core competencies not offered by Sterling Trust or other service providers of precious metal IRAs? OK, well, thank you. And that's a great question, because we get that quite often, is what, what makes us stand apart? And I think in, in, in our customers' experience, the thing that they most remember is our knowledge and education we are able to answer almost any question that you come up with related to self-directed IRAs in general, and specifically self-directed IRAs that are investing in metals. And our staff, we currently have about 26 people here, so we're not tiny and we're not giant, which is a nice advantage because you can talk to the same person that you talked to yesterday, and that person is likely to know the answer to whatever question. If they're not, they can always ask somebody else or ask me in particular. I've been here for since the beginning of New Direction IRA and have learned a lot about what customers are looking for. And our goal is to provide that education, help you through the process, and help you understand exactly what it is that you're doing. I think some of the other competitors that we see out there don't quite get that as well as we do. One thing I do want to interject also is that, again, we do have four custodians uh, that we provide on uh, our line card. Uh, we do ask you to do your own due diligence, and then you can discover what the differentiators are for yourself. Sometimes clients pick a custodian because they like the depository that they're working with. Sometimes they work with a custodian because they merely like their great customer service. Some people determine that they want to work with a custodian because they see that their fees are less than one another. Um, but I will tell you from um, getting a bird's eye perspective of what's going on, I do notice that uh, they're equally spread. And it really comes down to what the individual wants from an IRA custodian. We're going to proceed to Martin's question. And his question is, I'm not living in the US anymore. Does Entrust IRA provide services worldwide or just in the US? We can provide services to anybody who has an IRA. As part of the Patriot Act, you do have to have a 
at least a mailing address inside the US or someone else who is receiving your mail. But physically, it doesn't matter where you are as long as you are allowed to have an IRA in, in the US, which typically means you've worked in the US and have a social security number. OK, thank you. All right, the next question is from Vijay. If I don't have existing 401k or IRA, how do I start a fresh contribution to an IRA every month from my paycheck? Do I need to fill out any form for, say, maybe $500 contribution for every month? Yes. you Because a self-directed IRA is really no different than any other IRA with the exception of what it can invest in, you can make annual contributions based on what type of IRA it is. So if you want to have your employer withhold $500 a month from your paycheck and submit that directly to your IRA, we have paperwork that can help you do that. So at each month, that money would accumulate in the account. And when you had enough to make the purchase you were planning for, then you would contact Lori and walk through the process of actually buying that metal. Vijay, that was a great question because that commonly comes up. And thank you, Bill. The next question is, what if I want to take physical delivery? You can actually take a distribution in kind from your IRA. So if you had money in your IRA that you wanted to take out of the IRA and it was in the form of metals, you could direct us to send those metals directly to your house. What we do is record them as a distribution from your IRA to you personally. We value them based on the date that they're shipped out to you and send you a 1099 for that amount at the end of the year, just like any other distribution from your IRA. So you, there's no requirement that you sell it at the end. You can actually take the physical metals as your distribution. The next question is from Michael. How can we get educated about the various precious metals depositories that exist? Well, that's a good question. Um, we do offer a number of depositories on our website. If you go to our homepage, goldsilver.com, on the upper left-hand side, there is a link that says how it works. And there is a drop-down menu that will appear. You can take a look at IRA custodian section, and you can look at their specific depositories. And then also, if you want to buy outside of an IRA, we do also offer some storage locations, which are also called depositories. So please take a look at our homepage, How It Works section. We'll provide you that information. If you get stuck, give us a call, please. The next question is from Randy. I don't have an IRA or a 401k. Can I just open up a Roth and up to what amount? Yes, absolutely. Provided you have earned income, you can open a Roth with a contribution annually of up to $5,000 or 6000 if you're 50 or older. OK, next question is from Deborah. Is there an online application for interest? We do have our applications online, and we're actually currently building an online application where you can do it entirely online that's hopefully available by the end of the year. But currently, we do need the paper version downloaded and faxed or emailed to us. OK, great. Next question is from Ron. What are the storage fees for new direction, a new direction account? And what I'm going to say to that, Ron, is that it's a little bit of an in-depth conversation. And because of time constraint, we're going to have you contact New Direction directly, please, if you don't mind, because they can talk to you about all the specific fees. Typically, there's a set-up fee, a storage fee, um, such as that. And pretty much, in general, every IRA custodian charges some form of fee. So definitely, that's a great question, but more in-depth. Um, Chad, what would you suggest to be the minimal startup amount in dollars? For an IRA, I'm assuming, Chad, uh, do you have any thoughts on that, Bill? Um, yeah, probably around $5,000 to 10000 is the lowest that we've seen because the, the storage costs are, there's a, typically a minimum. And we can talk about that, as Lori said, if you call us directly. But five to $10,000 and up is what we typically see. And we've seen some pretty big ones as well. I'm going to interject some personal opinion. This is my personal opinion. From what I've seen, all the paperwork that comes through at our desk, I personally, my 
feeling is when it's $10,000 or less, you might want to consider plan B. Take a strong look at plan B. Definitely plan C is open to you, but most of these custodians, they won't entertain doing your paperwork unless it's $5,000 minimum. Okay, next. Do you provide custodian services for precious metals through company-sponsored 401ks? How is the process different than the IRA? We can do record keeping for 401ks that allow um, precious metals. Unfortunately, though, not many do. And that's a company decision, not anything related to the IRS. It's just the company that hasn't allowed it yet. So on that note, be sure if you want metals in your company IRA or 401k plan, tell the company that because they need to hear it. It's up to them. If they want to allow it, we can certainly help them allow it. Okay, the next one is from eWord. Uh, can you open an IRA and have funds accumulate to buy silver or gold? I think we kind of addressed that, didn't we? Yes. Any, any money that is being put into your IRA, we'll wait there until you tell us what purchase to make. And you can do other things with it in the meantime. We can give you details about that if you call us directly as well. So it is an option. And again, a very common question, so good question. And it, do, it doesn't hurt to repeat that. Joyce is the next person. Is there a way to personally take possession of the physical gold and silver rather than depository? Also, can we invest in real estate with this self-directed IRA as well as precious metals? With regard to the can you take physical possession of it, the IRS requires that any asset that the IRA owns be under the control of the IRA provider. So no, you can't have those metals in your own possession. And with regard to real estate, yes, the self-directed IRA can by practically any investment, and real estate is probably our second most popular investment currently after precious metals. And this is a great solution. It enables you to put tangible things inside your IRA, not only physical metals, but also real estate. So definitely talk to your interest custodian. Next is from Kane. If I currently hold gold and silver, can you use my metal to start an IRA or Roth IRA account? No. Unfortunately, the only way to get money into an IRA is via cash. You cannot contribute anything that you currently personally own other than cash. Okay, next question is from Will. How do we sell off our gold silver in our IRA once the end of the cycle for the precious metals has arrived? Um, Will, just an FYI, anytime you deal with an IRA custodian, it's pretty much that you're going to need to fill out a form to buy and when you want to sell. You're going to fill out a form with them. You're also going to come to your dealer, and you're going to come to goldsilver.com's login account, and you're going to submit your sellback request directly online. If you'd like to have the sellback instructions emailed to you, we'd be happy to send that your way. Please email us at info at goldsilver.com. Steve's next. What happens to funds transferred to the IRA custodian that is not used for the metals purchased? Any cash that is left over in the account, it's up to you. So with a self-directed IRA, you can tell us what you want that money to buy, be it real estate or even securities. Anything that is an investment that is allowed by the IRS is something that your IRA can buy. Um, more specifically, Bill, in Steve's question, what happens to if there's loose change? Because every time we make a purchase in precious metals, it never comes to an exact amount. And there is usually a, a, a remaining amount, like maybe 200 bucks in cash. Can it sit in cash, and does it get applied towards storage fees or something like that? Yes, Lori. It, it stays in the IRA's cash account. It can be used to pay any IRA fees or other fees that might come along. It can be accumulated to buy more precious metals later on, but it's there in an FDIC insured account waiting for directions as to what to do with it. A lot of people intentionally leave a little extra money in there to pay fees so that they don't have to worry about paying them out of pocket. Okay, perfect. Next question is from Tim. He has a really good question. Given that an IRA is typically a long-term relationship, what reassurances can you provide regarding the staying power and corporate viability reputation of interest 
and goldsilver.com. I'll start off with goldsilver.com. Goldsilver.com has been in business for six years. We have an A rating with the Better Business Bureau. Certainly, anything can happen with any business. If anything were to happen, then it would follow normal protocol as according to the laws. Example, if a company goes into bankruptcy, then it goes under bankruptcy laws. So overall, though, when we are shipping metals, we're shipping it physically to your door or to a depository. When in the instance of an IRA, it is going into a depository. It's no longer in our hands. And that is a great question, and it highlights the point that the assets that are owned by the IRA are actually in the name of your own IRA. So if something happened to our office and the IRA would still be there, the assets owned by the IRA are not assets of New Direction. They're assets that we're record-keeping and keeping an eye on for the benefit of your own IRA. So if we go away, the regulators from the banking industry come in and appoint somebody else to be that. But in the meantime, all the cash in the account is FDIC insured. Our bank regulators come and audit our books and records and keep an eye on and make sure that those assets are kept in a safe place and in the name, more importantly, of your own IRA so that you can always have them whenever you want. Okay. And also I want to emphasize, goldsilver.com, again, is a dealer. We simply help you to buy metals and ship it to a destination for you, okay? Also, we have another question from Vijay. Are there features like one-stop shop on goldsilver.com which can allow us the custodian IRA information and depository of my precious metals related to my account? There is no one-stop feature like an app if that's the question. It is an IRA order is more detail oriented and uh, we have to put specifics on the IRA order. So it is more involved. It is not a one stop where you're going to do it all by yourself. We definitely need to assist you with that because there's more operational steps involved with it. Is it difficult, from William, is it difficult allowable to transfer between custodians? I think from this presentation, we're trying to present to you that it is not as complicated as you may think. And that word transfer is very key. If you take your existing IRA and you liquidate it and it's sitting in cash, then when you move an IRA to the next IRA, it's merely a transfer. And basically, it's a submission of a form that you need to submit in order to get that going. As we indicated, there is no tax or penalty for doing this. So again, talk to Entrust to get that form, OK? Next, we have Mr. Lawrence. I have two mutual fund companies holding my IRAs. Do I need to establish two IRA accounts, or can I merge them at the time of creation? Good question. You can merge them, provided they're both traditional IRAs or Roth IRAs. We can merge any common common um, IRA from different providers into one. And that's what a lot of people do because they end up having an IRA here and then a former employer 401k there. They can all be rolled into one IRA and make a purchase of metals. Okay, great. Deborah's next. You mentioned it's time to get out of metals. What if one wanted to keep the metals in the IRA for a period of time, 10 years or more? Is this not recommended? I believe, personally, the answer is dependent on you. Certainly, you can leave it in your IRA as long as you would like to. That is definitely a personal choice. Some folks out there would like to have it in metals, and in an event of uh, when this particular asset class becomes overvalued, then most of us who are cycles investors plan on looking at what the next asset class that will be undervalued and moving our investments accordingly. But certainly, Deborah, that you can do that. You can leave it in precious metals if you'd like to. David, I have a 403B that I'd like to see in precious metals. Unfortunately, I can't roll it over right now, and I can only self-direct it into mutual funds. What options do I have? I'm going to interject really quickly on that one. On a retirement account and the custodian saying you can't move it out, you might want to try to do some possible creative processes. We've had customers who were in that same predicament. And what they did um, as a creative thought is to ask your custodian, can I take a loan out? 
and some people have creatively taken a loan out, paid themselves back, and buy the metals out route. That's a possibility. So take a look at that, and that's a great question. And with that said, this pretty much concludes our presentation. Thank you for participating.